It's not easy to get time alone with you, Captain. Maybe we should make up an urgent mission for Risha and Corso and everyone. Somewhere at least an hour away. An hour? I think I'm insulted. We'll need the whole night. I took the liberty of booking them a room planet side. You will be the first outsider to be this close to me without my armor. They've been missing out. Mm. I had no idea all those smuggling compartments were for more than just cargo. But that explains the hollow recorders in them. Don't look at those. The other girls meant nothing to me. I would not judge you on your past. Do not judge me on mine. We will have a new beginning. Together. For any Mandalorian, family is most important. That is instilled from birth. Whether you join the clan by blood or adoption, every Mandalorian seeks to one day have children to pass our traditions down to. When I left, I assumed that was over. What did I have that was worth passing on? I am your family. I want you to be my wife. Nivori Gare Durak, Gare Dor. Those are the words of our marriage ceremony. They declare a bond of trust and affection between partners. Nivore Gare Durak, Gare Dor. For as long as we both shall live. This was my father's helmet. I recovered it after he was taken by the Empire. I want you to have it. I do not need it with me any longer to mourn the family I lost. I have a family now. Attention all Havoc personnel. The Major's instating some mandatory downtime, effective immediately. So, get out, have fun. That's an order. There. Thought a little RR might do the squad some good. I also figured a little alone time would do us some good. Report to my quarters in five minutes. Bring your body armor. Ha. Huh. You're joking, right? Well, that was... productive. Very relaxing. Have Alara schedule more R&R &R time for the squad. A lot more. I wasn't sure when would be a good time to bring this up. Figure, now's as good as any. For the Cathar, picking a maid, it's... a lifelong commitment. Big decision, as you can imagine. Never really gave it much thought before. Then I met you. Couldn't find anyone else stubborn enough to stick with you? Not like you. You could train a Gundark to curtsy if you put your mind to it. But lately I've been thinking. About you and me, the war, and what'll happen when it's all over. I've been thinking. I'd like to start a family someday. Family with you. Eric Dorkin, are you asking me to be your life mate? I... Blast a woman, I had all this planned out. But, yes. Life, mate, wife... However you want to put it, the position's yours. If you want it. And here I was beginning to think the war was going to end before you proposed. I'll take that as a yes. As soon as we get the chance, we should go on leave. Have this done all official-like. Maybe take a vacation, go someplace quiet, someplace... far away from the war. I'm thinking either. I think all you want, but I'm looking for a more action-packed honeymoon. You really are crazy. It's not too late for me to back out, is it? Are you alright? Did that horrible man hurt you? That wasn't the first bounty hunter I've fought. You're amazing. I've never met anyone like you. Father finished introducing me to Druga. I'm glad that formality is over. Druga stared at me the whole time. Never said a word, only licked his lips. It made me so uncomfortable. Maybe your beauty stunned him into silence. <laughs> you think I'm beautiful? Is it getting warm in here? 
Oh my. Uh, I can hardly breathe. We could get away. Just the two of us. Really? <laughs> I'd, I'd love that. I have my own private suite. It's quiet and comfortable. We could go there. I'm right behind you, gorgeous. Uh, I'll hang around down here. You have fun, Captain. Follow me. Goodness, that was uh, unexpected. We hardly know each other. I've never done that before. Thanks for the thrills, Azalee. Thrills? Uh, I hope that's not all it was. I feel a connection between us, don't you? I'd better explain my absence to my father. I'll see you again soon? Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I kept them off your back. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. Friendship isn't all I had in mind for us. Argo, start packing. I'd like some privacy. Anything to get off this make our forsaken planet, Mistress Errol. I'll, uh... Just go count the rack ghouls. Been saving a bottle of Cassandran brandy for a special occasion. This seems like one. Come on. I wish we had more time, but I better get going. I want you to have this. Save me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I'm glad we're parting as friends. Risha doesn't deserve a partner like you. Watch your back, alright? I'll get off Terrace while the getting is good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mr. Sparrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. I've sent my first ship out undetected. Looks like you really took their system down. Doesn't surprise me. Not after Terrace. He's better than he looks. I guess I owe you then, Captain. What can we do for you, once we've delivered these medicines to Scastel, that is? Let's have the payment first. Then you go where you like. You don't like to be tied down, do you, Captain? Not even by favors owed. Then I'll make the transfer right now, and count myself lucky for the loss. You've been straight up with me, Captain. I'll be sure to add that to the stories floating around about you. Good day, Captain. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again, but I can't say I'm sorry you turned up here. What do you say we find somewhere a bit more private? Catch up a little. Did you invite the Void Wolf here just so I'd come rescue you? Maybe I should have thought of that. I've been wondering where you went off to. I've got Hannah T, Captain. You've got away with the ladies. I'll be at the ship. Alone at last. Next time I need a rescue, I'll know who to call. Then take this data and have it authenticated by the Royal Council. I'll see to our benefactor's payment. I'm sure you will, dear sister. I'll, uh, leave you two alone to negotiate. Call me when you need me, Captain. I suppose you'll be leaving soon. You don't seem like a man who stays in one place for long. I always have time for a gorgeous lady. There's a charming crudeness to your romantic gestures I can't help admiring. One advantage to being an honored guest at House Organa is access to their finest food and drink. I can arrange a special meal for the two of us. We'll eat and... talk about your adventures. What happens when I run out of stories? Why don't we start a conversation and see where things lead? Follow me to the parlor. We'll pour ourselves a drink while we wait for the food. Aren't you glad you decided to stay? This is great, but it's time for me to go. Already have one foot back on your ship. I wonder what sort of woman it will take to settle you down. This datapad contains your payment for delivering the droid. 
It's the schematic for a powerful anti-radiation shield invented by House Turan. The shield will protect your starship from lethal cosmic rays. You should give the datapad to your business partner, Risha. What's she gonna do with it? Build the shield, I believe. I assumed you knew all this. I also have your reward for recovering our family's heirlooms. I'm especially grateful for those. You risked your life for House Tehran, and we'll never forget that. Farewell. I've been saving this bottle for a long time, Captain. It's a rare vintage. Ord Mantel 432 BTC. I thought I'd use it when we had reason to celebrate. But most of our victories aren't really the raise-a-toast type. You have something you want to celebrate? I hope I do. Captain, it would be my great pleasure if you'd share this bottle with me. Maybe somewhere private. We can save the wine for after. My life would be about perfect if I could stay right here forever. I won't let anyone hurt you again. Just because you like watching my rear, doesn't mean I can't still kick yours. There's things a man's gotta do. And one is keep his lady safe. Even if she could blast him into component atoms. The other is this. Been through a lot together, Captain. If it wasn't for you, I'd have walked away from some of it. But if you gave me a choice between you and the rest of the galaxy, I'd still be here at your side. I love you. I know. Mmm. Fun. Mm, fun? That's all I get? I already told you I'm your man, Captain. I love you. What more do you need to hear? I've been wanting to do this a long time. Kept waiting until I thought we'd be safe, but I don't think we're getting there. Will you marry me, Captain? I'd be honored to have you as my husband. You don't know how I sweated that one, Captain. You know, as ship's captain, you're legally empowered by the Republic to perform wedding ceremonies on board your own vessel. Do you, Corso, take me to be your lawfully wedded bride? I do. I swear to spend my life protecting your body, honoring your spirit, and respecting your mind. My first and last goal of every day will be to bring a smile to your face. Like that one. I swear to drive you crazy with jealousy, Risk your life regularly, make fun of you in public, and ensure you never have a boring day again. Well, there's an honest vow. I'll take it, Captain. I love you. I'm honored to have you as my wife. Having some trouble with bounty hunters, Captain? No, oh, I can't help it if I'm popular with all the wrong people. Don't sell yourself short, my dear. All the right people find you charming, too. I hear Black Sun's on an emergency recruitment drive, and you had an altercation at the spaceport. I take it my lead was worthwhile. Turns out, there's a Solistan lawman chasing Skavik, too. It's always good to have friends with common interests. While we wait for Skavik to make his next move, perhaps we could play a little Sabak? I saw that one coming. Or so, don't be such a spoiled sport. What do you say, Captain? First game's on me. I was hoping we'd have the chance to get better acquainted. That sounds delightful. I'd love to hear all about you, my dear. I may have been a bit hasty when I said we could trust Dharmas. I prefer a man with some life experience. Right. I, uh, 
Think I'll leave you two alone. I'll just put a do not disturb sign outside so we can talk as long as we like. Well, that was highly informative. I'm already looking forward to our future discussions. Who knew playing cards could be so much fun? I did, obviously. It's over. Our people are safe from the Empire's threat. Hear that, Barish? How does it feel to back the winning team? <laughs> Now that the cartel has seen what we can do, are they ready to kick the Empire off Nar Shada and join our side? This is a major victory for the Republic. It's a shame we can't go public with it. Not yet, anyway. Your actions here may go unreported, but you've certainly earned our sincere appreciation. Please accept this gift in recognition of your service. I'd rather have the pleasure of your company. You could show me the nice parts of Nar Shada. Winning makes you bold, doesn't it? I like that. Say goodbye, Barish. Now it's just us. Follow me. I don't know about you, but... I'm enjoying Nar Shada a lot more now. It's a shame I have to leave. I was just getting to know you. Maybe someday we'll finish what we started. Take care of yourself. This ship is way too quiet. No offense to the others, but you're the only decent conversationalist here. Question is... Are you interested in more than just talking? You're more obvious than a Sith Lord in a snowbank. Point is, you can't miss me. We don't get much downtime. Be a shame not to take advantage of it. My schedule is crowded. I'll need a very good excuse to clear it. No. Just me. I don't consider myself a greedy man. But I'm making an exception for you. The galaxy will survive a little longer without us. What do you say? We deserve a vacation. And I know just how to spend it. You're... Whew, this was... I'm, I'm positive I heard your holocom beeping on the bridge. Might be important. I... Uh, I need to uh, clean the med bay. It's filthy. I'm... Uh, I'll see you later. Every time I think I've seen it all, the galaxy shows me something new and crazy. The latest journal of Xeno Medicine reports that Wookiees live for centuries and mate for life. How can they do that? It's unnatural. So you lack the endurance to stay with a woman more than a few weeks? If she was a really good kisser, I could be with the right woman for... months. Catching up on the latest medical data always makes me hungry. And I hate eating alone. What do you say, beautiful? Grab a bite? I had something else in mind, but if you aren't feeling up to it... Snack time can wait. I swear, every time we're together, it's different. You're not using Jedi mind tricks on me, are you? Would you be excited if I said yes? Sure. I mean, no. I don't... I don't know. Are you doing it right now? Don't answer that. All right, you win. Here's the deal. I'm good-looking, smart, and charming. I'm a top-flight medical specialist who does charity work. I've completely stopped looking at other women, which should be physically impossible. Bottom line, I'm pretty sure I love you. The galaxy could end any second, but that's no excuse not to get married. Can't believe I just said that. In a strange twist of fate, it turns out you're the only person I can truly count on. I don't care what the Jedi Code says. I love you. And I want us to be together. Whew. For a second I thought you were gonna say maybe. I'd have to ask you all over again later. Seeger! Get your shiny tail out here! It's a go! I am Ceremony Gala 
and Ritual Droid Designation CGR-80. You may call me Seeger. Shall we begin your joining? Have you been hiding on my ship? I need to chat with Sergeant Rusk and Kira about security. Please. They're no match for old Doc. I've had Seeger on board for weeks. Please hold hands while I recite the terms of bonding. In all the galaxy, there is no greater force than true love. Love sustains, nourishes, and protects. Without love, the galaxy would be cold and empty. Your bond lends fire to the stars, dissolving the darkness. Do you take this man as your husband, to cherish for the rest of your days? I suppose it's too late to back out. <laughs> not funny. Do you take this woman as your wife, to honor in word and deed? Definitely and always. We married yet? May your love transcend time, distance, and all barriers between. The terms of bonding are complete. You may now kiss. Seeger, be a good droid and deactivate yourself. We'll drop you off the next stop. Please do. I'm scheduled to preside over a Rodian Harvest Festival in three days. Rodians expect punctuality. So there you have it. You and me. Together forever. I never imagined it happening like this. But now, I can't imagine it any other way. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. Sir, there is a very important matter that requires your immediate attention. I've noted numerous reports and personnel documents that the other members of the squad have failed to keep up to date. I've collected the files into data pads. I suggest that the others take them off ship to fill out. A change of scenery helps when completing reports, I think. Sounds like we'll have the whole ship to ourselves. Hmm. Yes, I suppose that's true, isn't it? Please excuse me a moment, sir. So, based on past performance when filing reports, Jorgen will complete his tasks the fastest. I've estimated at least 73 minutes. Do you think we could find a productive way to spend the time before us, sir? Let's get straight to work. Gladly. I suppose it's wrong to hope that the rest of the squad gets behind on their reports again soon. Is it time to get back to work? Dorn! Bless it, where are you? I think our time is up for now. This was fantastic. Let's not wait too long for next time. I need to get something off my chest. Our work is quite dangerous. And of course, the future is always uncertain. You sound upset. What is it? I'm not upset. Th that, that isn't it at all. I love you. We risk our lives every day. And I couldn't let another moment pass without telling you how much I love you. I love you too, Alara. I can't tell you how much it means to hear you say it too. I got something for us. It took a great deal of research and quite a few holocausts to some very important people. Form 3578K officially authorizes us to pursue a mutual romantic relationship. I was hoping we could sign it together. I'm happy to make it official. Fantastic! Now then, since that's out of the way, I was thinking... That is... If you have the time. The war can wait. I hoped you would say that. My my. So many reasons to love you. It's hard to pick. Let's go face the galaxy together. I've been wondering what life will be like when the war finally ends. I've always known that there will be peace eventually, but... It's a big galaxy. There's always fighting somewhere. True enough. All that truly matters is that I have you with me. 
Whatever the future brings, I want you to be a part of my life, no matter what may come. I want to be with you forever. Marry me, Alara. We'll face the future together. You mean it? I... Oh, yes! <laughs> we'll have to do things properly someday. A military ceremony, dress uniforms. Do you think General Garza would officiate? I'm sure we could convince her. I hope so. She has such an authoritative speaking voice. For now, just know I'm yours. Now and forever. I'll always be with you. I love you. This is a nice ship. Shame we don't spend more time here. Always up to our neck in bad guys, finding new ones to beat up. Fun, but not relaxing. Destroying Sith is my favorite way to unwind. It's restful for them too. Permanently. You know what they say about all work and no play. We could use a hobby or something. Well, I hear Sabak and Pazak are entertaining. Although, Jedi should never gamble. Cut the evasive maneuvers. You know what this is about. We kissed. Got me thinking. The Jedi Code only forbids attachments. Never says we can't enjoy ourselves. What do you say to that, tough guy? I think we've put this off long enough. Glad we finally got that out of the way. Whoever set all the funds in the anticipation was just lazy. Speak for yourself. I'm already anticipating next time. Down, boy. Be mindful of attachments. Now we have reason to come back to the ship more often. Convenient. Been doing some light reading lately. Amazing what's tucked away in the Jedi archives. Still hunting down exact details, but get this. The Council can grant Jedi the right to attach under certain circumstances. Heavily monitored, of course. Probably need a special license, but still. Interesting. We could openly declare our relationship. You just admitted we have a relationship. Gotcha. We wouldn't be the first, you know. I've even found records of Jedi who were married. Had children. Not that I'm suggesting we... you know, I, I, I like things the way they are. If there's any chance we could have the same happiness as normal people, don't you want to try? Lots of hurdles to cross. We're not exactly a perfect genetic match. Mm, eyes are tired. Too much reading. Need to relax. Meet me in my quarters in two minutes. Actually, sneaking around can be kind of fun. I'm suddenly motivated to find out more about the Council's special permission. Let you know when I do, tough guy. Finally got the skinny on how we become an official Jedi twosome. Short version? Not happening. We'd only ever see each other on Tython. Senior council members would review us monthly, make sure we stay... detached. The clincher is, only Jedi who were raised by the Order from birth get permission. I'm automatically disqualified. All we can do is keep our relationship a secret. How much longer can we pull the hood over Master Satil's eyes? The lady's not stupid. We push this any further, might end up like Jomar and Leha. Not gonna ruin your life, tough guy. You want out of this? Just say so. I'd rather face down the whole council than lose what we have. For a man of action, got away with words. So much for upholding the Jedi Code. Guess we're outlaws. We'll find a way to live with the guilt. Somehow. Won't be easy, but we have to try. And try and try. Nope, still feel guilty. You'll have to try harder next time. Better get back to saving the galaxy. Don't want people to think we've gone soft. Alright, tough guy. We need to have the talk. Know the one I mean? Whenever you call me tough guy, I know kissing is somehow involved. Don't pucker up just yet. Emperor's dead, galaxy's temporarily saved. Time to focus on us. We're good together. Question is, what kind of life are we gonna have? 
we're making the most of things. What more can we have, Kira? The thing about secret relationships is, it's easy to forget you're in one. But I want to be forgotten. Let me make sure you never feel forgotten. I love you, Kira. I commit my life to you, and only you. Forever. Forever sounds about right. Shame we can't throw a party and invite everyone, but this'll do. I'll send the others on a mission. We'll have the ship to ourselves. Make sure it's an especially long mission. A girl could get used to this. Probably best if I don't, at least until this war's over. Sooner we get rid of the Empire, sooner we can enjoy moments like this full time. Let's get cracking, handsome. Well, here we are. Perfect. I have a little surprise for you. I like surprises, handsome. I've arranged a private dinner in your honor. House Organa's chef is the best on Alderaan. I even hired musicians to serenade you. We'll eat and talk and dance and, well, who knows what else. Are you planning to propose? Pro propose You mean marriage? Relax, Lan. I'm only joking. I'd love to spend some time with you. You sneaky little jester. You're even more fun than I thought. Follow me to the parlor. The food and musicians are already waiting. That was a celebration I'll never forget. You truly are the most extraordinary woman I've ever known. So beautiful. So dangerous. Why don't you leave, Alderaan? I've got plenty of room on my ship. I want that more than you know. But my family duties aren't yet fulfilled. Perhaps, someday, we'll meet among the stars. I did not think to be so long. My wife says I changed. She sends me to the shrine to be cleansed of your influence. I know she is right when I weep at the thought of your leaving. You don't need to be cleansed. We haven't even done anything dirty yet. Love is water. On the lips it quenches. On the skin it caresses. When cold it pierces. When in every breath it kills. I never understood how such words were worth the shame. Oh, it's worth the shame. It's worth lots and lots of shame. It is dangerous for you outsiders to spread ecstasy so freely. Consider this our parting gift to each other. I treasure it. I will go to my grave with this memory. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Four hours, 34 minutes, and 11 seconds. All right, you have me hooked. I thought you could use some R&R, &R, so I arranged a little circuitry fault in the ship's doors. You'll have about four hours of peace and quiet in your quarters. Time to read or meditate or whatever you like. You wouldn't leave me with just my studies for company, would you? I never want you to feel lonely. You're so beautiful. All that emotional control? It was just waiting for the right moment. I'm glad I was here for it. Sometimes those right moments can arrive in quick succession. Hold that thought. Just for now, give me a chance to surprise you all over again. You ever think about the future? I refuse to believe a Jedi doesn't have plans. What we call the future is countless threads of cause and consequence waiting to come to fruition. I should have learned by now. I always try to think a few steps ahead. If you want things to turn out right, you gotta make it happen. That's what we're fighting for. People being free to make plans and live however they want. Like, settling down somewhere with their beautiful Jedi Master. Are you proposing? Yes. I am. I love you. I want to spend my life with you. If you'll have me. There's nothing I'd like more. Then... Then one day we'll have a huge ceremony. On Titan. Or wherever you'd like, and invite everyone. 
But for now, take my promise. I'm yours, Barson Thor of the Jedi. Forever. May we always cherish each other, remembering the lives we now leave behind, and joyful for the life we begin together. You always know just what to say. What are you doing here? Where's Ivory? I just got a call from Commander Skylist. His troops saw an unauthorized ship approaching Vault 806. By the time they got there, the place was empty. I'm taking him off-world. He's not your problem anymore. Ivory is a habitual offender, guilty of racketeering, murder, torture, and nearly every Republic protectorate. He's serving a life sentence on Belsavis, and anyone who aids his crime is warranted for arrest as well. Give me one good reason not to cuff you right here. You like it like that, hmm? Huh? You? I should see you strung up by the neck. I should have you beaten. I should lock you in that cell and cut you down to Sith cubes and water. I should... should... Apparently warding Belsavis is a lonely job. Get in the cell, Captain. You and I have things to discuss. Listen to this. Unbroken feet I walk, crushed and alone. The lies they told me have turned the world gray. But oh, that you still breathe and live is a song in this void that gives me life again. I like it. Where are the lines from? It's from Callus and Fiona, one of our romances. I've always loved it, but you've helped me understand it. There's been so much death. But there's life here, too. You've shown me what you fight for, what you live for. I love you. I was beginning to think you'd never say it. <laughs> Hope it was worth the wait. I told you I needed time. But now, I'm ready to be with you. I wasn't sure I could be patient much longer. Follow me. I want you to know something. Whatever happens, you're not alone. I'll always be here for you. There's no need to promise anything to me. But saying something makes it real. You have my word, as well as my heart. While you were fighting out there, I could feel it. Your energy, your heartbeat, your injuries. It's not unusual between a master and a padawan. And we're... Closer than most. I read about that. I never thought I'd feel it. I've never been so close to anyone in my life. This feeling. There aren't words for it. There are. But they're usually saved for wedding ceremonies. W wait What are you saying? Us. Together as husband and wife for the rest of our lives. How does that sound? It... It sounds wonderful. I never thought... Come here. Listen, listen. For us, for my people, marriage isn't... It's not just a ritual. It's something that changes and grows. First, we make a promise. All seasons, all worlds, under stars and earth, you and I. All seasons, all worlds. Under stars and earth, you and I, Nadia. I never thought anyone would say those words to me. I love you. I know this is just the beginning for us. My goodness, Captain. It is a relief to see you hale and hearty after everything you've been through. Master Newman, Master Newman, the Captain has returned. Are you sure you're not Balmoran, Captain? I can't name one person who's done more for the Resistance. The Imperials are going nuts about losing the Nebula shipment. I didn't know the Emperor let them use that kind of language. What can I say? 
Sometimes a girl just needs bigger ordnance. We've got an old saying here on Belmora. It's not the size of the missile, but how it hits the target. I just hope the Republic is willing to sell us some of it back. We need those Nebula prototypes. What would you give me if I got you your prototypes? <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't tamely turn over that kind of payload. Send me the price later. Right now. Let's talk about your finder's fee. Maybe back at my place? What are you waiting for? Oh, my gracious. I don't think I should be hearing this. I'm a family-friendly model. No, this is just too much. I'm putting my foot down. Are you two involved? I didn't realize. Don't worry. Corsa's just a little puppy who won't stop following me. I will too. Just watch me. Leave. Right now. Maybe we should find somewhere more private. I'd be a fool to think one night is reason enough to bring someone like you back to somewhere like this. But I hear the Void Wolves executed half the Imperial leadership on Balmora. We could be working in the same circles again after all. You never know where the winds take you. Well, even I can read a cue that blunt. I'll take my leave now, Captain. It's been fun. I've destroyed the machines, poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave. It was... heroic. Since you came here, all you've done is risk your life to save us. Why would you face death again and again for people you barely know? You're worth the risk. Me? You don't even know me. You're strong, capable, a good person. What else should I know? I've lost so much. All I seem to have left are responsibilities. Being a matriarch means putting your own needs second. It's the same for Jedi, isn't it? There's more to life than responsibility for others. There has to be. For all her victories, my mother spent her life alone. I don't want that. But I thought Jedi weren't allowed to... I mean... Should you be doing this? Right now, all I want is you. And I want you too. I'll make sure no one disturbs us. If we stay much longer, my people will wonder. And I don't want you to get in trouble with your master. There won't be any trouble. You bring out the best in me, Rana. Here. This is something for when we're apart. My people are probably looking for me. I'll see you again soon, I hope. I can't hold off Count Reneld forever. I have to answer his marriage proposal someday. But I want to make an informed decision. I was hoping you could help me out with that. In private. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were finally surrendering to my charms. Let's not go that far. Yet. I still need convincing. That was a very persuasive argument. Sweetheart, this debate's just getting started. You've put some thought into this. I'm, uh, listening. Intently. You know, crowns and thrones aren't that great. I could maybe live without them. Assuming you survive me, I should kill you both for this insult. Who are your thrusters? I don't see your name tattooed anywhere on me. Me neither. And I checked. Thoroughly. If you prefer this soft, passionless thing to me, then keep her. Otherwise, throw her out the airlock. Okavi, settle down. I'm not kicking anyone off this ship. I didn't mean to lead you on. Risha's always been the girl for me. She always will be. Your answer allows me to keep my honor. For this, I will let you both live. Ugh, you and her? That's exactly what I'd expect from you. What other friendships have you been keeping from me? Aside from this, I've been a very good boy. Don't believe me, ask Corso. I'm glad there are only two women on this ship. I'll assume you don't have a thing for Mon Calamari. We should probably cool things off for a bit. I have some thinking to do. Didn't think you could still surprise me, but proposing in front of Count Reneld, that was a whammy. 
I wasn't sure if you were serious then, but I am now. And my answer is yes. Whatever happens, however long it takes, when I'm finally Queen of Dubrillion, you'll be my king. It's about blasted time you came around. Do you have any idea how many beautiful women I turned away to have you? Call me vain, but I hope it was thousands. We'll have a royal wedding someday, but let's do something personal right now. I, Risha Drayen, take you as my future king. I promise to be faithful and always apologize when I get snippy with you. Except when you're wrong. What you said, plus this. I'll never skim more than 10% off the royal treasury. Only 10%? You really do love me. What do you say we make this even more official? So, how does it feel to be married? Come to my quarters this time. I've made some modifications for you. How can I resist that offer? You never told me you were an engineering genius. I'm staying in the captain's quarters from now on. It occurs to me that with the Void Wolf dead, we've run out of trouble. Let's go make more. Rogan is the Void Wolf's most dangerous tool. I think the time has come to take down his criminal empire once and for all. Can you steeple your fingers and say, together we can rule the world? Stick with me, love. And you don't need to stop at one world. Perhaps we should take some time and strategize. Alone. What? Are you ashamed of me? A senator and some scruffy pirate? You have to admit it'll draw some looks. Are you so eager to show me off? I have a room just off the shuttle bay. A senator, Captain. Be careful this doesn't end like the rest of them. Let's go. Don't say anything, Captain. I've got no interest in awkward pillow talk. Go to Darmus on Port Nowhere. Find out anything he knows about Rogan's business and those... things that attacked me. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. Hey there, Lieutenant Hero. I was hoping you'd take me up on my offer. Now that I have you all to myself, no techs watching through the armor cam, no grumpy squad members, I can finally get to know this dashing new Havoc commander. Yeah, there's really not that much to tell. That's not how I heard it. Word is you saw more action on Ord Mantell than most of us see in a whole tour. But let's not talk about that now. To tell the truth, I didn't bring you here to talk. We'll just have to think of something else to do. I already got a plan in mind. Hmm. Lieutenant, you keep on like this and I might have to take a liking to you. See that you do, Sergeant. I'll take that as an order, sir. I'd better not keep you here any longer, or Garza will have me surveilling hut bathhouses for weeks for holding you up. Be safe out there, Lieutenant. And keep in touch. Hey there. Glad you could make it. Sit down. Take a load off. I hear you've been a busy man lately. What have you been up to lately? Oh, same old, same old. Spent forever chasing down a hitman from Imperial Intelligence. But we finally nailed him. Quite a stunt you pulled on Quesh. I've got a pal in the Safecrackers who says you took on half the Empire single-handed. Oh, she wanted to know everything about you, of course. I did my best to make you sound boring and ugly. Enough competition out there as it is. Worried some other girl might catch my eye? I don't care who catches your eye, as long as that babe you met back at Coruscant is the one you don't forget. So get over here already. I think I'm the one who should be giving the orders. Pulling rank on me, huh? Whatever you say, sir. Had enough fun for one day, huh? I guess it is getting late. I'm glad you came by. Don't be a stranger. I could probably stick around a little longer. No, no. You think I want Garza to put a bounty on my head? 
I'm not holding you up any more than I already have. See you around. Hey, Captain. Bet you're surprised to see me. How the places did you get here? I hitched a ride on the only ship that could make this trip. Yours. See, I've always believed if you can't beat them, join them. And then beat them. So, I stowed away back on Nar Shaddaa. Funny thing about Wookiees, they got great big lungs. It only takes a couple of breaths of happy gas to knock one out. Note to self, invest in some better locks. Oh, you won't be needing those anymore. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but... I don't hold a grudge. Really. I clearly haven't hurt you enough. Don't kid yourself. You haven't hurt me at all. Bottom line, there's nothing you have that I can't steal. They say the best things in life are free. And I'm the best. Don't be a tease, Captain. My heart is fragile. You know, we're so much alike. We don't have to be enemies, do we? Can't say I never thought about you and me together. Are you people out of your minds? Go stand in the corner, kid. You're captain and I need a moment. this build-up. I was expecting you to be... more. Oh yeah? Well, so did... me too. This is absolutely intolerable. I finally get that blasted capsule's lock open and the letter inside? Pure gibberish. Jedi, you can make this all better, can't you? Listen to this. AH3 2O SH4 and that's just one line! The message is probably encrypted. Yes, that's occurred to me too. But all our deciphering attempts have failed. AH3. 3 3. Ah. This isn't a message, it's a chemical formula. And the letter itself smells strange. I thought it was the capsule, but what if applying the chemical to the letter had some effect? We'll never know if we don't try. Spoken like a true scientist. Oh, oh, let me make that chemical. I can do it in a snap. And I simply have to know what's on that letter. I'll get started right away. At last, an answer. However do you do it. Your very presence sparks my inspiration. Does my presence spark anything else? You bring out the very best in me, Jedi. You have ever since Nar Shada. Let me express my gratitude properly. In private, perhaps. There's already a woman in your life, Theron. What Holiday and I have is... complex. It has its pleasures. But there are simpler pleasures. No less valuable, but... unconnected. So there's no need for concern. And I won't tell if you don't. Then let's find somewhere to get acquainted. You are a rare find in this galaxy. I regret that I must leave such delectable company so soon, but work calls. Until later, my Jedi. Poor Nerial. Never had a moment's pleasure in her brief lifetime. It's almost sad. Speaking of pleasure, I remember you promising me some. And good little boys always get what I promise. You've been ever so helpful. Let's discuss your compensation. Tell me your heart's desire, my dear. I wouldn't call it my heart's desire, but it's close enough. I do admire bluntness. So many people waste their lives on subtlety. This cavern is really quite lovely, you know. Why don't we go for a swim? That was amazing. I've never had better. Truly, what a wonder. Try to be a little convincing. I never promised to convince you of anything. I believe that concludes our business. I'll take my prize and be on my way. Such a gorgeous box. A delectable shade of crimson, don't you agree? What's in that box anyway? 
You wouldn't understand. Bargaining with you was a pleasure. Farewell. <laughs>